So I think there's a lot going on, as people know, in the world of FLIR3 inhibitors. Um, I think we can do it in sort of a calendar. Uh, the next big event coming up, I think, are the results of the ADMIRAL study. That's a study randomizing patients to receive gilteritinib versus salvage chemotherapy in the relapse setting for FLIR3 mutant patients. Uh, the drug has been approved in Japan and the U.S. based on interim data, but the formal data have not been revealed publicly, and that's going to happen at the AACR meeting in, in Atlanta first week of April coming up. So we're all very much looking forward to that. Um, I think then next on the calendar of events is in May, Quisartinib, um, uh, the sponsor has filed for approval uh, in the U.S. based on the results of the Quantum R trial, and those were presented at EHA um, this in 2018. So that will be going to an ODAC uh, with a PDUFA date in late May, and so we're all hoping that that drug gets approved in May. Um, moving on, I think by then the randomized study of gilteritinib versus midostaurin in the upfront setting, so this is chemotherapy plus a FLT3 inhibitor, either gilteritinib or midostaurin, will be starting accrual in Europe, and a similar trial is underway, in the, will be underway shortly in the U.S., and then just updates on uh, ongoing trials, I think a very important trial, Quantum First, newly diagnosed FLT3 ITD patients, chemotherapy plus or minus quizartinib, that has nearly finished accrual. And certainly by the end of this calendar year, I think it will have finished accrual. Uh, and then uh, that primary endpoint is event-free survival. So we get an endpoint for that uh, rather sooner than many phase three studies. Finally, we have the MORPHO trial, which is AML patients with FLT3 ITD mutations who've undergone allogeneic transplant, randomized to placebo versus gilteritinib with an MRD endpoint as well. And that is about half a crew going on worldwide.